Hi, hello, how are you? I'm Pia and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. My dad are going to get a Christmas tree. Yes, it's the 21st of December and we don't have a Christmas tree. If you didn't see yesterday's vlog, we tried to go out and find one. And because it's so late, I guess, we could not. So they're going to a Christmas tree farm. I, unfortunately, cannot do such a thing. I would love to, but I have to study because I have a final today. <laughs> like midterm final, what is it? I have a final today and I have one tomorrow. I'm actually taking a quick break from it at the moment from the studying game. I think I'm gonna go for a run. I'm having a lot of like nervous energy and I was gonna go for a run later, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I just would like to literally just take the time and now my brain is like, what? <laughs> Hello. Can we tell I, I went on a run? <laughs> I just naturally am this red and sweaty. Yeah, I just went on my run. My mile time is getting faster, which is very exciting. Um, I'm doing longer than a mile, obviously. Literally, a tomato. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower. Oh, my brain. I'm gonna take a shower now. I'm, I'm so sweaty and gross. <laughs> But I need to document it. Alrighty, it has come to that time of day. It's time for me to take my final. <laughs> I'm like already uncomfortable. Like I don't, <laughs> I've been studying all day. Ha ha ha. Look at my notes. They're very pretty. I mean, it's not my notes. It's my like study, study notes. <laughs> Having a blast. Anyway, I literally have to get this up now because <laughs> it starts in three minutes. I got myself some ice cream. 72 points and 67 questions. Just not up to me, but okay. Not me opening the midterm and not the final. <laughs> oh, she's doing great. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna take this test. I'll text you when it's done. Text you. <laughs> Someone tell me how this question is zero points. With my psych final. Think. Oh, and I'm getting calm. My mom is literally downstairs. Girly. <laughs> okay, I'll be up in a minute. Okay. Okay, I think we're gonna watch a movie. That's my mom calling me to let me know that we're watching a movie. <laughs> She's upstairs, bro. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna relax now. I'm very, very excited. Like, genuinely, like, I mean, I showed you all the notes. Or not the notes, but the, never mind, I'm not gonna relax yet. <laughs> my video needs to get done. That <laughs> says, okay, we're gonna do my video, and then we're gonna relax. I'm gonna read, and we're gonna watch something, and that's what we're gonna do. Alrighty, it is time. Time for my final review of A Castle for Christmas. Everyone's new favorite Christmas movie. <laughs> this one, this is one you can skip. Wait, what do I say about this movie? It was like incoherent. Like, <laughs> it just like didn't make any sense. I mean, like it had every trope, like known to man. I, what I want to say is that I, I love cheesy Christmas movies. Like I love bad Christmas movies. I think they're really funny. And I did find this very funny, but it was just, it was so much. <laughs> In this story, it just makes no sense. Like, it's so, it's so silly. <laughs> so, final verdict, not the best one. It did, however, have a cameo from two of the characters in A Christmas Prince, so that was kind of fun. Oh, we did get our Christmas tree. I have to, I have to go downstairs and show it to you. Um, it's actually really nice. Um, I'm like, thank God we have a Christmas tree because then we'll be decorating it. Ooh, life is a mess. I did want to decide, I'm sorry, my eyes is itching. I just took off my makeup. I'm hoping there's not like glitter in my eye or something. So hopefully not. Um, I'm gonna start a new audiobook. So I think I'm going to start. The thing is, I'm still not in the mood for a contemporary. So I think I'm gonna pick up Children of Virtue and Vengeance, which I actually have. I think I'm gonna pick up Children of Virtue and Vengeance. I was gifted this by a subscriber. Thank you so much. I, I read Children of Blood and Bone last year, maybe even the year before, and I obviously loved it. I mean, obviously. I haven't read the sequel, although it does have very mixed reviews. It's a lot shorter than like the previous book. And I don't know if the third one, it's definitely not a duology. I just am not sure how many books there are in the series. So we're gonna do some research. Yeah, I believe it's a trilogy. It just doesn't have, third book doesn't have any info on it. So yeah, there's like actually no information on the third book. So I think I, I'm going to search this audiobook now. I really enjoyed, I think I listened to the last book on audio. So I think that this is gonna be one. One that I also enjoy listening to audibly. And I do have it from my library, which is also why. I'm planning on picking it up, even though I do have a book sitting here that I do really want to get to. Legendborn. <laughs> Legendborn, which I still want to get to. I just don't have this out from the library and I want to just like use the loan I have at the moment. But this is definitely one that's high up on my list right now, especially since I'm in a huge fantasy mood. I'm in a huge fantasy mood, dude. So I am like really excited about this. I think these are just the ones that are... I've been thinking about. Well, this one I just started thinking about, but this one's good. I've just been sitting on my on my nightstand for a while. I don't think it's that long of an audiobook. Yeah, just to have something to listen to while I do some workity work. I 
decided to hang out in front of my bookshelves for a little while because honestly like let's appreciate them they're so cute yeah so I did a little bit of reading of Children of Virtue and Vengeance I am now like 55 pages through it so I just hung out for like a half hour and read it just listening to the audiobook and reading but it, it I am primarily gonna use it as an audiobook it's just I was waiting for my video to get done and I was just hanging out so I had a good time <laughs> reading this I mean it's not done I'm having a good time reading it I should say present tense. I was looking at like my currently reading on Goodreads and like yikers like if you follow me on Goodreads or you're friends with me uh you know I read like a hundred books at the same time. Well 12 usually uh and I was just seeing thinking and like a lot of them are like at least a good amount of them are like fantasy. Anyways that's what we're writing now having a good time and it's coming back to me the story like genuinely like for picking this up today I I could not tell you a thing that happened in the previous book like I could tell you the general plot of like what it's about like you know people magi reclaiming their magic and like coming back to a world where there wasn't magic and they'd been oppressed for so long i could tell you that i couldn't tell you characters names relationships like how it ended i could not tell you a single i i, I think i got it <laughs> i think i remember now which is not to say that i've like i have a really good memory i think i mean like mental illness doesn't make my memory very good in general i do have a really good memory and i do read a hundred million books a year or at least like a hundred something but i do I, I do have recall of them i i just can't remember specific things all the time. I'm, it's coming back to me. I'm having a good time. It's kind of exactly what I wanted right now and that's very surprising but I'm totally I'm I'm riding this fantasy train all the way all the way home. Uh I didn't know how to end that analogy. I'm now going to head to bed. Definitely gonna do some more reading of that tomorrow and I'll be finally off and uh can have a real vacation which I'm very excited about. I know my mom wants us to make cookies. Probably gonna decorate the tree. Like it's gonna be Christmassy from here on out. Hopefully. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to all the things and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.